fight to the end. I wish I could come to you guys under better circumstances. Last time, Thunder was stuck in a tree after saving a kitten. I can assure you that did not happen this time. He learned his lesson. He actually went to therapy so he could learn how to ignore the cries of kittens and trees. Uh, the problem is he had the opportunity to save another kitten and he did not. And now that kitten is like seeking revenge. Thunder's in a safe house. I don't really know the details. But I'm back again to try and entertain his subscribers, which is a tough feat. I mean, Thunder has grown like crazy. The man hit 500,000 subscribers. That's freaking nuts. But I'll do my best. And one thing Thunder gives me a hard time on is that I don't really like Black Ops 1. Him and I just have very different... It's funny. We get along really well. We talk to each other on the phone about our families, whatever. But we don't really like the same games. I love Modern Warfare 2. I love how crazy and hectic it is. And with Black Ops 1, I just never got along with it. But I thought to myself... Well, Thunder subscribers, they're going to want to see some Black Ops 1, so I hopped on some Black Ops 1, and uh, <laughs> don't worry about the gameplay. I just I got into one of those lobbies where it kind of feels like combat training, so the gameplay is not impressive, and it's, it's not really the point. I just thought, well, his subscribers would like to watch Black Ops 1, and I was going to talk about the reasons why I don't like Black Ops 1, but I thought, yeah, that probably wouldn't be the best idea, considering <laughs> that Thunder subs really like Black Ops 1. So I thought I would actually talk about Advanced Warfare. I know you guys are on the edge of your seats. You can't wait to hear what I have to say about Advanced Warfare. Now, Advanced Warfare, I don't really talk about the next Call of Duties on my channel very much. I don't really get into the hype. I just kind of play video games. You know what I mean? I don't really, I don't really get too crazy. But I do have expectations or wants or desires for the next Call of Duty game. I know a lot of you guys have quit the series, so I guess humor me. But I want to know what you guys have to say down in the comments. I'll keep my eye on the comments, even though this is this is Thunder's channel. But I want to know what you guys have to say about uh, things like sniping. What kind of sniping do you want to see in Advanced Warfare? Do you want it to be like Black Ops 1? I'd like to see it be like Black Ops 1. As much as I don't like Black Ops 1, I love the sniping. Because you actually have to snipe. Uh, what do you guys want for the general weapon balance? Do you want the SMGs to be a little more dominant? Do you want the shotguns to be dominant? I obviously would love a good Boss 12 type pump action shotgun. The boomstick we like to call it over on my channel. But uh, what would you like to see with like the perks? The perks that speed you up, I feel like those have gotten a little ridiculous because of uh, some bad coding, maybe some bad camera angles. Like lightweight makes you just move a little faster than your character actually moves. Sleight of hand makes it look like you're reloading in third person, but... In first person, you're actually already done reloading and shooting, so bullets are just coming out of nowhere. Uh, same thing with, like, Stalker. I'd like to see those kind of perks go away. Uh, no, this is... We say Death Streaks are no more because they weren't in the last two in the last two games, but this is Sledgehammer, who helped with Modern Warfare 3, that had Death Streaks. So <laughs> I really hope, obviously, that Death Streaks don't come back. And maybe this stuff has been confirmed, but I don't really pay attention much to what... Uh, what is said about Call of Duty until like a month or two before the game. Uh, I obviously don't want to see support streaks. I feel like support streaks are so boring, man. Let's give everybody a ribbon. People don't like to die, but this way they can die and still get their streaks. I'm going to pass on that. I'd like to see support streaks go away. I'd like to see some effective assault streaks like the AC-130, my favorite kill streak of all time. I'd also like to see some smaller maps, and I will say Black Ops 1 did good on on some of the maps. I don't like the DLC maps, but some of the stock maps they did really good on. I love firing range. And Black Ops 1 Nuketown wasn't too bad either. Except for the ghosts. The ghosts on Nuketown. I'd also... I, I still can't decide if I want theater back. I mean, we complained about theater. We thought maybe that had something to do with the hit detection issues. And then they took it out for... Uh, for ghosts and the hit detection seems a lot better so maybe maybe theater is kind of part of the problem and dying with a blackbird up come on goodness sakes so maybe maybe theater is part of the problem if it's part of the problem i definitely do not want it to come back if it's not part of the problem sure man bring it back i love theater blowing up some campers with rpgs in my camper meets rpg series 
I just, I want the game to function. I talked to you guys right around the time Ghost came out. I talked to you about how I love function over features, man. I just, that's one of the reasons why I love Titanfall. It needs a little bit more content, but I, I just love the simplicity. Function over features. So, again, I'm sorry for taking Thunderspot. I know you guys love to hear Thunder and get his opinions and his craziness. But to hopefully I can at least somewhat entertain you with this video. Let me know what you guys think about this topic. Let me know what you want out of Advanced Warfare. I'm sure Thunder's going to go a little bit more into depth with the more info that we see. But drop a comment. And as always, thanks for watching. Later. Later.